Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to sync your Google account, meaning your contacts, your calendar, and your mail, uh, with your Nokia N9. Okay, so to do this, you're going to click on your Accounts tab, and then you're going to click Add Accounts. Now, you would think you would click Google, um, but in actuality, that just syncs mail, chat, and your calls. It doesn't actually sync your contacts and your calendar. So, in order to do that, we're going to actually click on Mail for Exchange instead. And then you're going to fill in uh, these fields. So, obviously, your email address is your email address. Your username is also your email address. By the way, this also works for Google Apps account. So, if you have Google handling your mail in any way, this will work as well. So, again, email is obviously your email, username is your email as well, password is the password that you use to log into your email, and domain you're going to leave blank. Okay, and then once you hit manual setup, it's going to bring you to this screen. Uh, you can select which things you want to sync, uh, for example, your calendar, your mail, schedule. If you click on that, it gives you the peak time interval, so that's how often it checks during peak time. You can then set what peak time is. Um, peak days, off peak time interval, etc. Uh, most people, you're probably gonna wanna set the peak time interval as always up to date. Peak time, just set it from, you know, 12.01 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Uh, and then peak days every single day. And then this way it will automatically update all the time, keeping you up to date all the time. Once you've set that up, scroll down, uh, and you'll see server address. So this is actually going to be m.google uh, You're gonna say secure connection, you're gonna select that, so that makes the port 443. Uh, for con conflict resolution or, or resolving, you're gonna do priority given to server, this just means that um, things that you do on the device don't take priority over things that are done on your regular email account or on the actual email server itself. So that's fine. Leave it like that. That's the way it is de default. And then once you're done there, you're going to just click done. Okay. And once it's done syncing, you'll have all your contacts from your Google account as well as your Google calendar uh, and your Google mail.